Hey guys, I'm gonna show you some mining rig stuff today. This is my main gaming computer, and I use it uh, mostly for just desktop stuff, internet, and games occasionally. But since mining GPUs have been profitable recently, I got uh, this 5700 XT from AMD. It's an X of X uh, brand. Uh, it's called Triple Dissipation. And this is, uh, I'm actually not even sure what this one is. I know it's MSI and it's a 5600, but I'm not sure of the exact model name. I might have the box in my room somewhere. See, I have two 5600s. I have ASRock Challenger, which I haven't shown you yet. That's not the 5600 in my computer. The problem, I tried this one. And I like the uh, temperatures and a lot of things about it, but the reason I like the other 5600 model over this one is this one had a weird noise with the fans. It wasn't like the fans were like really loud. In fact, I like the 5600s because they're more quiet than the 5700s in general. But the fan made like a whining noise, and for my gaming computer right next to me, it was just really annoying. So I didn't use that. But I will show you what that GPU looked like. And... It actually is seeming like, like a great mining GPU um, because oh shit, I'm making a mess. it's only got one PCI plug where most of these 5700s or even the other 5600 has two PCI plugs. So when you're making like a rig, like this is my first mining rig I make right now. It's probably going to be a six GPU rig, but if I have uh, power consumption problems, it'll be five GPU. But I was saying you only have so many um, video card plugs that you get. See, I'm using kind of like them from the power supply. So if you don't have enough, they actually sent me the wrong cords when I ordered this one. This EVGA 1000 watt G2. So the most GPUs I can put in this pretty much safely is three. If I if uh, they would have sent me the right cords, I could have done four or five. But I am ordering extra cords of the special kind that I can use with these splitters. So I can use six GPUs in this. Um, so yeah, this uh, the 5600 is great. Um, the, the memory temperatures are amazing on this. I love it. And I like, I want to try it more with Hive OS. I feel like I can get the, it seems like to be my best performing for, um, hash rate per power consumption. Whereas I'm having some power consumption problems with my, the, the six, uh, 5700s that I bought of the same exact model. They're all, I got them a good hash rate, 58 mega hash, but I have the even when I undervolt severely to 750 megavolts, whatever or millivolts, whatever, <laughs> um, it still has like 150 watts per GPU at the wall because it's like 40 or so from the system, and I subtract that from the total and then I divide by three and it's like 150 where it should be like 125 would be nice 120 if, to 115 if I was really lucky. And so the, I, I want to try these 5600s. So yeah, back to my rig. I'll show you guys. Um, I'll start mining with both GPUs. So I can show you. My desktop's kind of a, a mess, but uh, get to the, my mining folder. Got some mining stuff in here. Go to Phoenix Miner is what I'm using to mine. Um, and see, I got two options. You can make shortcuts for these, but I'm still just got them, so they're new. So I'll do both for now. But when I'm gaming or just like on the internet, actually only when I'm gaming, I'll only do the second GPU. But when I'm just like hanging out, then I'll run both and mine with both. So it takes about uh, 30 seconds or so to start up. And then it takes about another 30 seconds to uh, auto-tune like one of the intensity values. It's like dash GT. So, but, um, so in this GPU rig, I've got, like I said, 5700 and 5600. I have my BIOS, my, my, uh, BIOS modded the XFX ones, uh, except not this one in my rig. 
um, just because I didn't want to mess with it for my gaming. So it's not modded, and I can't. You can't mod the 5600s. So I was. I usually, I would get like um, 58, but since it's not modded and I'm running it at safer settings, since it's my display uh, video card, um, it's the hash rate is not going to be as good, and the power consumption might be a little higher than regular. So it'll be about 50, maybe 50 and a half mega hash for that 5700, um, and. For the 5600, I get about 40.5 mega hash. Um, and I get really, um, I get pretty good power power efficiency with the 5600s. And I can get even better power efficiency with them in Hive OS. So this is Windows right now, but uh, one of the rigs I want to make soon is a Hive OS with the 5600s and see how power efficient I can get those. I'm excited to try that. Um, so yeah, so let's see, check these hatch rates now that they've started up. They're pretty much at where I said, um, so yeah, um, I'll show you guys, uh, what the, I have the settings for the GPUs and then I'll show you a quick profitability of what this computer is making per day. And then that should be about the video. Um, so, um, the temperature is looking good. The, the cores are under 50 Celsius each, which is so much lower than previous generations. Um, and, but what we have to watch for with these cards for mining is the memory temps. And mine usually don't go above like 80, maybe 78, it fluctuates. Um, and in, for these cards, at least. And I uh, see I've underclocked the GPUs severely. So they're down, they're usually like 1800 for gaming plus. Now they're like 1300, 1100. Um, and just a, a mild or a moderate core undervolt, uh, for up to 800 millivolts. And, um, the memory overclocked on the non-display GPU because I'm, I just want it as stable as possible for my display one. Uh, if like I'm on YouTube and it's playing videos and using the video card or whatever. So yeah. Okay. Oh. Battery is at five percent on my phone. I should probably get like a camera. All right, so I'm gonna load up this website real quick. Um, what to mine, and I want to show you guys what my computer is making. So we can come in here and see the total is about ninety-one point one six. So we'll just put ninety-one in the calculator for this uh, ninety-one and. Let's and it's using about you know what I, I have it on my app, but I'll check it 